Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today is a video all about the Cardano project called Fort Gotten. Now, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just really like the project and I wanted to talk about it in further detail. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. Everything I talk about in this video is just my opinion. Also, I'm giving away 0.1 Ethereum to my subscribers. If you want to find out how to win, stay until the end of the video. So Fort Gotten is a project on Cardano. When I first found out about this project, they only had 80 members on their Discord. And honestly, I just couldn't believe it. If you just go on their website and you quickly scroll through, like you'll see the amount of work, like effort, time that went into making this project what it is. So I knew I had to reach out and I did. I met, well, virtually met all three of the founders. We had a nice 75 minute long conversation. Honestly, I should have filmed the whole thing. It could have been an interview. That's my bad. In the future, I will consider that before starting the interview with them. Now, obviously I can't reveal everything they told me, but based on my conversations with them, I really like this project. So I'm making this video on it. Like I said, it's not sponsored. I just think they deserve way more attention than they're currently getting. So there's a lot to this project, especially the roadmap. There's three different episodes. They have an MP4 you can listen to. They have these activity logs. And in their Discord, they even have like a 3D model that you can see here at the bottom of their website. So I kept trying to put a box around what they're doing just so I could understand it. And as they were explaining it to me, like I realized you can't because they're trying to do so much more than your average like 10,000 profile picture avatar project. So I think a lot of projects, they just, they kind of create their their avatar they make 10,000 of them and then like that's the main point of their project whereas here they're really building out a world or a universe as they put it so what i liked when i was interviewing them is that when i was asking them questions like they weren't just trying to give me an answer just for the fun of it like they were thinking with their lore like does this make sense in the lore does this make sense in the story so i really like to see that it really shows their passion for the project and it makes sense because they've been working on this way before it became an NFT project, they've been working on this, let's call it a brand, for a very long time. So what is Fort Gotten? Fort Gotten is a story about the forgotten kids. These kids represent adults who have grown up and they lost their childlike side of them or their creative side. And what happens to that child in all of us? Where does it go? Well, it goes to the Fort Gotten realm. So here are the NFTs, what they're gonna look like. And depending on the NFT you get, you're gonna have a different role. Those roles can be scouts, collectors, healers, builders, each with their own responsibilities, and all of the holders are gonna be part of different Discord channels. If you look at their roadmap, you'll see, well, there's there's technically four episodes, we'll talk about episode zero later, but you're gonna see episode one, two, three, and here you see, remember the kids of the forest, the camp beyond the forest, and finally, the settlements of the forgotten world. So the way these episodes are gonna take place is that as the story evolves, the community is gonna be very involved in deciding what happens next as they venture out and discover new areas in the forgotten realms. So let's say your NFT's role is a scout, you might help discover new areas. Let's say you're a builder, you might help build up the camp. So it's like a role-playing game and all of this is gonna take place in their Discord. If you look here, you're gonna notice under camps, there are three different camps. So depending on the outfit and the background and different attributes of your NFT, that is going to place you in a different camp. So what they're planning on doing is hosting different events and scavenger hunts and the camp that wins the game, they're gonna get to decide the next part of the story. So they are very big on collaboration as well as encouraging creativity. So like I said, these events are gonna be interactive. They're gonna have their activity logs that we saw on the website. And based on the role of your NFT, you might even receive airdrops. Now they didn't go crazy into detail for this. However, they kind of hinted maybe an airdrop can be a compass or maybe it can be a map like we see here on the website. So I think that's a really cool idea for the community to get together, play a game, and it'll make everybody happy because they're getting free airdrops. So like I said, this is very community based. And if you love role playing games, then definitely check out their discord. So as we said, all this begins in the forest. And then as the roadmap progresses, it'll branch outside of the forest. And if we scroll up, you can see search in CNFT and then search in OpenSea. So I found this interesting. I asked them about it. And just like they said that the story branches outside of the forest into new worlds, they also mentioned that it could branch out of Cardano into different blockchains. Now I do find this very interesting because eventually everything's going to be cross chain, right? They're going to be able to transfer NFTs. They're going to be wrapped. You're going to be able to put them on Solana, on Cardano, on Tezos, on Ethereum. But I do think a lot of projects still have this 
tribal mentality. And if they were to branch out to other blockchains, they might either, like I said, just wrap their token and make it tradable on Solana or Cardano or whatever the second blockchain is, or they might just copy their NFTs and put them onto Cardano and then just double their money without doing any extra work. But here they're making it part of the story, like discovering a new area in a video game and then you're meeting brand new characters. So the lost kids of Ethereum, they can have a completely different look, completely different traits. So I really found this was a unique and interesting idea. Now to build onto that branching out, I really also liked how they kept referring to their project as transmedia. So they want to create a ton of different ways to take part of this project and you can pick the one that suits you best. The way they described this for me was using Harry Potter as an example. So with Harry Potter, you could either read the books if you like books, if you like movies, you can watch the movies. If you like games, you could play their video game. If you like building, you could play with Harry Potter Legos. There are a ton of different ways to consume Harry Potter and you don't have to consume them all in order to understand the story or take part in the world. So looking at their roadmap, that's why you'll see a ton of things like short stories, their comic book, they're also planning digital experiences, incorporating it into Dungeons and Dragons, even doing physical collectibles and art toys, as well as just exploring their website and taking part in the games on their Discord. Now, just a little bit on the Dungeons and Dragons thing. The most exposure I've had to Dungeons and Dragons is seeing it on an episode of Community. So I had no idea that there's dungeon masters all around the world who run these stories and then people write new stories and incorporate that into the game for all of the players around the world to play. So when I heard that they were into Dungeons and Dragons and that they want to incorporate the Forgotten Children into Dungeons and Dragons, that just came off as a really cool idea. And it also explains like they're thinking ahead, right? They have their story, they have their different characters with roles. So the scout, the healer, the builder, the collector, it all fits very nicely into the world of role-playing games. Next, the thing I think that most people talk about when they see this project is the price. So a lot of people don't like 75 ADA as the base price because it goes up to 150 ADA. I even ran a poll on my YouTube and a majority of people voted that, yeah, 75 ADA is way too much. But compare this to projects on other blockchains and it's still nowhere as expensive. The average price for a Ethereum project, let's say it's 0.06. With gas, let's say it's 0.08. That's $230. And on Solana, I'd say it's probably around two Solana. So that's like $260 US. So this one's 75 ADA, it's roughly $150 US. So that's roughly two thirds of the average project on the other blockchains. Now I get it, it's expensive compared to projects on Cardano. On average, there's something like 40 ADA each, but I do think we're gonna start to see more and more expensive projects on Cardano. As for this one, with the amount of work that I'm seeing them put into just building this entire world, it's way more than just a one-time profile picture drop. This is an entire world, an entire story. So for me, the price is justified and I understand why they're starting at 75 ADA. And the other thing with 75 ADA, it might also prevent flippers from getting in. So the people who are gonna invest in this are gonna be people who either really believe in the project long-term or who want to actively take part in their community. So the first round is gonna be 2,000, after that 5,000, after that 10,000, and the first one that's happening on October 1st. So that's 17,200 NFTs. So they're really gonna have to grow their community if they want to sell this project out. Their Discord is still very small. They're only at 1,100 members. However, this is what organic growth looks like. I often see a lot of people complaining when a Discord has, I don't know, 15,000, 25,000 members. They're saying, okay, a lot of those members are fake or it's bots or they're not active or they just had invite competitions where people invited as many people as as possible so the numbers don't represent how many people are actually interested in the project but if you want an organic growth project this is what it looks like like they've done zero marketing i found this by chance i don't know looking on twitter or in a cardano focus group on discord they've done zero marketing and they don't have any invite games so we can't have it both ways we can't have we don't want any invite games we don't want all this hype but then when a project does it the right way when they do it organically we're complaining that the community is not big enough so i do hope the community grows that's partially why i'm making this video to help get more eyes on this project because i really like what i'm seeing and i like 
the amount of effort and passion that they're putting into this project. So like I said, I like the project, I like the team, they are anonymous, but they did tell me that they don't really have a problem revealing who they are and their backgrounds because they have done a lot of projects in the past, not NFT projects, but just creative projects. So I do think them showing their faces and maybe their portfolios that would help with the project, but it's really gonna depend on the community. I think their work speaks for itself. It shows how much passion they have for this project and they don't necessarily have to dox themselves again if the community demands it i'm sure they would but i personally don't see a reason that they would have to do that so as for episode zero you can see it here on friday october 1st they're going to be releasing 200 special edition kids so the offer is going to be available for the first 200 people in the discord they're going to have a certain amount of time to buy them and then once that time limit runs out they're going to be available for anyone in the discord to purchase and these nfts will have unique traits to celebrate the original members of the Discord. So if you want a chance to get one of the first 200 NFTs, be sure to join their Discord and look out for that link. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And the more of a channel grows, the more I can give away. Speaking of which, I'm giving away 0.1 Ethereum to my subscribers. When I reach 20,000 subscribers, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, retweet my pinned tweet, and tag one friend in the comment section of my pinned tweet. If you like chatting about NFTs, if you need help with something, be sure to join a Discord. We would love to have you there. If you want to buy crypto in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below. You will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.